six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and liftoff. Go SpaceX, go IM-1, and the Odysseus lunar lander. Vehicle pitching gun range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Thank you, Noah. For first, let me congratulate Intuitive Machines for... We think we came down with, like I said, about six miles an hour this way and about two miles an hour this way and caught a foot in the surface and the, and the lander has tipped like this. And we believe this is the, surf, the, the orientation of the lander on the moon. We're getting sun moving this way around the lander so that solar arrays are being powered and we believe a little later we'll get solar sun on the top deck solar array. Uh, the majority of our payloads are all in view um, and we are uh, collecting science and we've collected science along the way um, to the moon and uh, been downloading that data. Uh, we are providing power to the spacecraft and we're at 100 percent state of charge. I could not be prouder of our operations team and our engineers for putting together Odysseus which was a marvelous machine and to look at the moon every night now and know that uh, we have new hardware there that we had a hand in building in our lifetime something i couldn't say before um, it really was a, a magical magical day well i think there were several uh all stations this is uh, mission director on im1 we're evaluating uh, how we can refine that signal and uh, dial in the pointing for our dishes what we can confirm without a doubt, is our equipment is on the surface of the moon and we are transmitting. So congratulations, I am team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. An excellent call from our mission director, MD Dr. Prime Tim on, Crane. Uh, I am one. And over Go to our Prime. CEO, Steve Altman. Yeah, if I could just pass on a few words to the entire team in uh, Intuitive Machines at Superbab and here in the here in the uh, mission control. Uh, what an outstanding effort. I know this was a nail biter, but we are on the, si on the surface and we are transmitting and uh, welcome to the moon. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. Today, for the first time in more than a half century, the U.S. has returned to the moon. Today, for the first time in the history of humanity, a commercial company, an American company, launched and led the voyage up there. And today is a day that shows the power and promise of NASA's commercial partnerships. Congratulations to everyone involved in this great and daring quest at Intuitive Machines, SpaceX, and right here at NASA. Half of our mission is to deliver the payloads to the moon. And then once we're there, we are a communications and power node for them to collect additional data. So um, the first order of business is to work through stabilizing our communications in this um, off nominal configuration and then bringing the data from those payloads home. Now, the good news is the way we landed, we can complete all of our science objectives on this mission. I think it's, it's historic in the sense that it's a natural progression to humanity moving into the solar system. Um, we all fly on airplanes today and we don't think twice about it. But the first airplanes were a novel and sometimes very risky uh, proposition. 
So can we move space exploration and space development from being this her Herculean, one-off, massive effort to something that companies can help provide? And moving into that future where people are doing business at the moon, we think this is the first step in that direction. I think at the end of the day, it's important to remember that space is hard. And it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're trying to land on the moon, if you're trying to land on Mars, just sending things to orbit, launching on a rocket, space is full of challenges. It's a very extreme environment. Landing anywhere is also super challenging. You have to deal with hazards, touching down safely, making sure you don't roll over, that you have the right attitude, the right orientation for the spacecraft. So there's just a lot of, lot of challenges along the way. And basically, if anything goes wrong, it can be the end of your entire mission. So especially seeing this done by a private company, which doesn't necessarily have the same experiences and heritage as a huge organization like NASA, um, is really encouraging to see. and liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket, launching a new era in spaceflight to the moon and beyond. And Jack, how's the visibility back to the center geophone then? How's it been? Yeah, are you, are you not bad. Okay, you're not having to worry about it.